We are on the Manhattan side of the Manhattan Bridge at the brand new and beautiful Forsyth Plaza. And uh, you'll see there's lots of new stuff, seats, uh, brand new plaza for everybody to enjoy. But one of the things we're here to look at is the counter behind us. We came out here, what year was it? 2014. So four years ago we came out and we decided one October morning to count cyclists coming into Manhattan. And this is Steve O'Neill, I'm hey. Doug Gordon, and we Nine, are counting ten. the number of cyclists who are coming over the bridge. There's certain times of year, especially, where I just, when you're all biking across the bridge and you're just like, it's an unbroken string of cyclists coming over the bridge and you, it, and think back to the old days when there was a lot fewer bicyclists. It's, it's just apple juice. Uh, oh. Oh. One, two, three. Pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. more hits. Right. Hey. Cheers. 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 Hey. I started to advocate for New York City to get a totem that would count cyclists as a way to encourage cycling in New York City. So on a pretty hot May day in 2016, I went to the Brooklyn side of the Manhattan Bridge, set up a chair at 6.30 in the morning with a big sign that said, you are cyclist number, and then I had those flip charts where I just kept flipping it all day. And by the end of the day, after sitting at that same spot at the Manhattan Bridge for 14 hours, I got up to over 5,800 cyclists. Bicycles take up so little space that mm. a lot of cyclists can look like zero cyclists at the same time, right? Like if you were to pan over here, at certain moments you'd see nobody going by and you'd hear those complaints that, oh, who are these bike lanes for? Nobody's using them. Uh, I knew about it when I started riding past it every day. I like that it's an open data source that we all have. Oh, wait, no, it's not. They should do that. You got to make it open. You got to open the data. Hopefully, I hope DOT starts to release this data as open data so it can start to be used by the public to start to do analysis and figure out more with it. And then let's get some more counters all over the city. I'm hoping to see the next one at Hudson River Bike Path. I would like to see one right in the middle of the city somewhere, like maybe 6th Avenue. I think really the next step would be to put these in places where there's heavy bike traffic so that if you're not on a bike, if you're walking by, you're a store owner, a community board member, just a regular person living in New York, you see, oh hey, a lot of people are using these things. I'd like to see a um, bike counting totem at every bridge, but we could really use it at the Brooklyn Bridge. I'd also like to see a multimodal counter across Brooklyn Bridge because it gets so packed. I don't think the city really knows how many people go across there. I'd like to see one at Prospect Park West at Grand Army Plaza, especially in the morning hours when everybody's taking their kids to school. I think it'd be real eye-opening to see how many parents are riding by. Sunset Park, because there are a lot of cyclists there, there are a lot of uh, delivery cyclists, and I think it would be a great place to put another counter. And when you're that one person going across the bridge, you just see the one person in front and behind you, you don't think there's that many cyclists, and then you turn around and you see, oh, actually, I'm the 3600th cyclist to pass today. You kind of start to see the real volume of people who are actually using their bike to get around in New York.